so much focus on sports concussions and other athletic injuries striking less of a cord, damage to the upper or cervical spine. We probably see more cervical spinal cord injuries here than anything else. Neurosurgeon Dean Lynn finds spinal cord injuries among the most catastrophic. While players generally recover from injuries like a broken bone, cervical spine injuries involve collisions of the head and neck and can cause a lifetime of damage. The problem with the spinal cord is that you have a very densely packed structure, about a centimeter in diameter, where a lot of nerves travel. Anything that damages the amount of tissue can result in a catastrophic injury. Sports injuries make up about 12 percent of cases, especially ones involving people between the ages of 15 and 35. If it happens in the field of play, the wrong move could result in paralysis. We all see football injuries, hockey injuries on the field. The first thing they do is everyone clears out and no one moves the patient. Everyone put a collar around their neck before they move, make, let them do anything at all. In best scenarios, the spinal cord injury is considered incomplete as opposed to totally severed, which means there's no chance of function. The partial injury often involves nerve compression and swelling. So with treatment, it takes time, often a long time, to gauge the amount of recovery. The problem with nerve tissue like spinal cord and brain, uh, that heals very, very slowly. And that's why I tell people we won't know possibly for up to a year how much better you're going to get. These injuries, while small in number nationwide, are on the rise, leading to the importance of being heads up about the risks. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.